In this module, we're going to show you how to do self-calibration. Before we get started, let me introduce you some of the features on the local display module that you'll be using for self-calibration. First, we have the control knob. The control knob is used to answer no and yes when you navigate through the setup menu. On the right, we have the selector knob. The selector knob is used to navigate through the setup menu. It can go back, stop, or next as you navigate through the setup menu. In order to get in the setup menu, you want to have the navigation knob or the selector knob in the stop position. And for the control knob, you want to toggle yes, no, yes, no very quickly like this. You know you're in your setup menu when you see the LOR LED flashing and it reads SU for setup. Right now your unit is asking if you want to go into setup. So you want to take your control knob and toggle yes. When you toggle yes, you'll see the FN appears on your screen. FN is the find function. This will help you automatically jump to the self calibration uh, menu in your Smart EHO. So hit yes and you're going to see two lines. So these lines, what's asking for is to find the self-calibration feature. So to jump to the self-calibration feature, you have to hit no till you see SC appear on the screen. Once you see S, then you hit yes, and it'll ask you to fill in the second digit. So you hit no till you see C. And once you see C, you hit yes. So next you'll see PC. PC is your passcode. In order to make any changes to the EHO, we need to enter a passcode. So we're going to hit yes. And it's going to ask for a four digit passcode. So here it's asking for the first two digits. In this case, the Smart EHO is set up for a passcode of 0000. Please check your IOM manual to make sure that uh, you have your passcode ready. So hit yes once you get to the passcode digit that you want to select, and yes again. Now it's flashing again for the first digit, and this would be your digit three and four. So I hit yes again and hit yes again. You know that except, except your passcode if it shows SC. When you see SC on your screen, that means you're at the self-calibration menu. Typically, you don't need to change any of these settings in self-calibration. Now you hit yes, and now you'll see some of the parameters for self-calibration. So once you go into self-calibration, you're going to start setting the parameters for self-calibration. The first parameter you'll see is ST, and this is your cycle count. So right now it has three, and what that means is your actuator is going to stroke open and close three times uh, for self-calibration. This helps set the limits. So if you want to in increase the number of strokes, you would go to no. If three is acceptable in a number of strokes, you just go to yes. In this case, we'll leave it at three and we'll hit yes and go to the next parameter. The next parameter in self-calibration is PU, which is pressure unit. Zero is the default selection. Zero means PSI. One is bar and two is KPA. If you want to change the selection similar to ST or your cycle count, you would hit no and it'll increment the number to get to the pressure unit of your choice. In this case, we'll stay with PSI, so we'll hit yes. The next parameter for self calibration is PS. PS is pressure spike. Pressure spike is the maximum hydraulic pressure during self calibration. For PSI, you can make a selection between 5 to 50, which translates to 500 to 5,000. 
Right now, the unit is set to 2400, which is factory set. If this setting is appropriate, you just hit yes and go to the next parameter. The next parameter for self-calibration is PR, maximum operating pressure. This parameter can be between 5 to 50, which similar to the last parameter equates to 500 to 5,000. Right now it's factory set to 2,000. If this parameter is set properly, you just hit yes to go to the next parameter. If you have a thermal accumulator, the next parameter you'll see is TP. This is thermal accumulator pressure. For PSI, your selection is 5 to 50. And like the other two parameters, that equates to 500 to 5,000. This parameter is factory set and typically won't need to be changed. All right, we'll hit yes to go to the next parameter. The next parameter here is self-calibration test. It's big S, small c. When you're ready to run self-calibration, you'll hit yes on this parameter. When you hit yes on this parameter, your actuator is going to open and close three times based off of your setting. It's going to run up to 86 degrees here on this unit and go back close. And it's going to do this two more times. Depending on how your mechanical stops are set, it may run uh, anywhere between 85 to 95 degrees. Once self-calibration is complete, you're going to get a status update. SP stands for self-calibration passed. SF stands for self-calibration failed. In this case, we were able to successfully perform self-calibration. To exit self-calibration, hit yes. You'll see SC appears on the screen. All this means is you jumped up the, uh, the setup menu back to self-calibration. In order to save these settings, you want to find the SA parameter. In order to do that, you can take the navigation selector knob and go to next. To save your self-calibration settings, toggle yes when you see SA. The next menu you see is EE. E is to exit setup menu. Once you hit yes, you go back to normal operation. You have now successfully self-calibrated your smart EHO unit.